Hey you guys, it's Girl Gone Blind, and I have done this video like seven times and I am not doing it again. So this is it, okay? This is it. All right, so I wanted to do a little video to demonstrate about what I'm talking about in the blog above, okay? Basically, it's about prescription bottles and over-the-counter bottles and how to manage those and what I've just discovered, as I've already written about. So let me demonstrate about how somebody who is visually impaired or blind manages their prescription bottles or over-the-counter bottles, okay? My first method of my go-to, how I'm gonna figure things out, is I shake them, okay? As I said above. You can have two of the exact same prescription bottles, exact same, I can't read the labels, and I have to shake them. Now, also by the weight of the shake, I can tell these are bigger pills and these are smaller pills. So then I know which prescription's which. Again, that may get you in a little bit of trouble, but this works for me on these for right now. Um, you may have a different size prescription bottle, like here, and it's got a little tag thing on it, all right? This is the warnings of this particular prescription. So I don't need to shake it. I know the size of the bottle and the warnings. And by the way, <laughs> one of the warnings is this may impair my ability to drive a vehicle. Seriously, I think I've already got that going on, so not real worried about that. Anyway, that's this bottle. So you can tell. Over the counter, we all have over the counter bottles too. So this, I know by the feel, and there's a dark top, it's Advil. And shake it, you kind of get to know the sound, that kind of helps you out too. So again, shake method, feel method, um, I kind of got this one down as well. But what if, what if they're the same? What if a lot of them are the same size and they sound the same? You're probably gonna wanna pull out your magnifier, which is every blind kid's, if you have any vision left, best friend. All right, this is mine. It's an Optilect 7HD and I love it. I love it. Um, anyway, let me turn it on and I'm gonna show you how that works. Okay, so I use this to read a ton of stuff, all right? I, I, it's always usually in my kitchen um, so they can read things. Um, or I take it with me places. So anyway, I would take a bottle that I'm not sure about and I would um, get it in front of the label. Again, you gotta figure that out. You, okay, let's see. Um, oh, take by mouth. Oh, it's good to know, right? <laughs> um, like who is this prescription for? I don't even know. Oh, see, now you gotta, oh, I see Johnson, RX number. Well, anyway, it's a pain in the ass. Okay, let's just be real. It's a pain in the ass. So, you get the idea. I'm gonna put this away. All right, so, um, I don't have a lot of patience, so, you know, I tend to just use the shake method. But I'm gonna give you the gem, and it's what I've been talking about in my blog up above. It is the Talking RX bottle. Ta-da! There it is. This, my friends, is what I just discovered. All right, and why haven't I found out about this in the last three years, for God's sakes? Why haven't you guys told me? So since I just found out about it, that's why I'm sharing it with you. So I want to demonstrate it for you because, you know, you can't really do that by writing. And let me preface this. I just had knee surgery, so this is for a narcotic. It's not just something I have laying around, and um, trust me, I'm not on it right now, okay? It may seem like that, but I'm not, okay? <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to demonstrate it for you. There's a little button on the side. And you just press it to find out what's in this bottle and what is on the label. Okay, so here we go. This is your hydrocodone 5 milligram of acetaminophen, 325 milligram, generic for narco 5325. Okay. This is a narcotic pain medication. How many? Quantity of 10 tablets given. How do I take it? Directions are take one tablet by mouth every six hours. Great. Okay. You just press the button again to have a shut up. Okay. This is actually the pharmacist talking on here. It was kind of cool. Uh, anyway, you can request this at your pharmacy. You guys. If your pharmacy has these available, I recommend it. Because um, you can have prescriptions, especially if there might be folks who take a lot and you just don't know what they are. This is gonna really solve all of that for you. And that's why I wanted to share it because you may not know about this yet. I mean, like me, I've been living in this world of shake, shake, shake and magnifier, okay? Easy peasy, all right? So there you go. Here is your Talking RX. See if they have it for you. It's gonna make life a lot easier. And I, again, 
Thanks for reading my blog and thanks to Miko for videotaping this for me like a hundred times. I love Miko and thanks again. Talk to you guys later.